Kessel's apartment, 2.12 p.m. Pacific Center Time. Hello, Dude. Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell <laughs> Cole, look at how he looks so stupid. He's like, oh, disgusted at the station. Duh, I don't know. Bad move, Cole. <laughs> Wait, what's the bad I'll move? In, Jack. You cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. <laughs> God damn. Parent was just grinning like a freaking jackass. Of course. Oh, right to bound the business. All right, cool. Let's go. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Oh, we know from the newspapers that that's not true. Ho ho ho! You'd be wise to be a little bit more truthful with Jack, us. You know about the morphine. You weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. This is going nowhere. He was kind of involved, though. Okay. Gift of foresight. Let's see. Well, gift of not really foresight. It's just we we could we just we just could we just were looking we just looked at the newspapers, <laughs> and apparently we could gleam into what actually happened that we had like special powers like that. I'm pretty sure Cole was with us there when we did that. Um, I'm like doubt, I doubt, doubt. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys. But the truth is, I don't give a fuck. Well, I don't care. I don't give a fuck if you don't give a fuck. Really I don't remember your name. What do you remember your name is? No brackets in this town. Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Hey, just because you're speaking the truth, uh, what's his name? I forget what my partner's name is. Wow. Roy. Right, Roy. God, you're so stupid. Um. You okay, Phelps? Standing around, doing nothing? You look shell-shocked. Oh, don't go there, buddy. Do not go there. That was too okay, soon. Phelps? Too soon. Standing around, doing nothing? Hold on, I'm making fun of my, I'm making fun of my partner. God, I'm on your side, idiot. Uh, you know, I don't even remember what it was. Roy, you're, you're stupid. Did yeah. you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Oh. Wait, really? Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Oh, he was kind of looking down when he said that, but... Uh... Quit lying to me, Jack. You know what's going on. You've been in this with Eddie from the start. I'd want <laughs> something solid to back up what I was saying if I was you. I would too. Uh, I have nothing. <laughs> You're off the hook for now. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. You know we can't get stupid faces now. Came into money and bought a That's going to screw me over. No, I didn't know that. Uh... You didn't know that. Um, okay. So he didn't know. She didn't. Then you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night. No, I didn't. All right, cool. Glad we got you that one right. VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Wait, really? You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. It doesn't matter. They're not here when you report it anyway. Wait, one more time. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Why is Cole giving that face? It's almost like he wants to believe him. But he doesn't? You're not a good liar, Jack. I know you want to help your guys, but this has gone too far. 
If you believe I had anything to do with the theft of the VARs or the morphine for that matter, I suggest you produce some evidence. Okay, here we go. I suggest you shut your mouth and let me do that. Because here you go. Bam! That's right. Returning six Marine Division soldiers linked to morphine theft. Even though that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Um. Oh my God. I heard that a crate Don't like the stupid faces. No, I didn't. Uh, God damn it. Well, I'm going to go with truth there because the creative BRs, BARs was, ha was what had to do with the shooting, wasn't it? Sort of. So. Right? Is that what it do to the 111 Club shooting? And if you didn't know about that, then you didn't know about this, right? I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. <laughs> Vicky Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 VAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? By the way, just to be clear, Felix did not die. What's in it for you, Cole? Just to want to be clear with that. More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. <laughs> Cole, and then Cole just ignores that. He's just like, all right, cross that one off. I'm not going to acknowledge that comment. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Coolidge Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Oh, I don't think that's true. Yeah, I don't think that one's true. Because, this, see, this, the other two, you're just like, you're just straight up like, no. And then I said truth, and it worked. But this one, you're actually going to detail, so you're trying to, like... I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved, or you know who is. You calling me a liar, Cole? I hope you have something to back that up. God damn, everyone always... I don't hide behind your rank any longer. Why do you keep talking? Why do you keep looking down when you talk to me? Are you really that nervous around me? Or uncomfortable? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with doubt here. Don't ask, you never find out. Doubt. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude is yeah, a Jack. concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this yeah, I'm not gonna. I was interviewed when don't let me acknowledge your comments. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? Oh, you just implicated yourself. Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. He doesn't even drive it. He has me drive it. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Judy, Robert Steiner, <laughs> 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. A lot of threats the victim is Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Shit, I'm pretty sure Jack also knew who that was. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged? Are we gonna answer that question? I guess not. Alright, let's go. Do, do. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back the <laughs> wrong way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never what? give up his own. You game. always have me do it. You never fucking do the inter inter interrogations. Like, literally never. So what the hell? Like, no one ever does it except for me. Why? Why? You have such a problem with how I do things, then do it yourself. Or fuck off. They just walked up and shot the man. Oh shit. Two of them officers, they went that way. Yeah, I Go see on, them. After them. See them, Dingle Fritz. Dude. 
<laughs> he's my partner lost his hat again. Wait, how do you lose your hat? What? It made no sense. You just had your hat on back in the interview room. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Oh god, your aim is so shitty. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. I can't hit a target that Why are you even a detective? I don't even understand. You're so corrupt, I don't get it. Is it because it fuels your corruption? I can't take the shot from here, Cole! Well, I'm sorry you really should aim. Like, uh, nothing I can do about that. Oh, God. Anarchy. All right, let's go. Ah. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. It's okay. I know how to do this. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, you can't even hit me. Ah, headshot skill. All right, watch this. What? That was a headshot. There we go. Headshot skill. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. The hell, that guy was just like, fuck off. <laughs> that black guy there. All right, let's take a look at their bodies, even though we just shot them. What could we possibly get from their body? I guess they're from their pockets. That's pretty much. Let's just look at the pockets. I don't even think it's worth looking anywhere else. This isn't. This isn't homicide anymore. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Does he have another pocket? Oh, he does. What's in here? Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Oh, wow. How, does he, how do you know it's tonight? Maybe this already happened. I mean, we saw it in the newspapers that they met up. It's not totally fantastical. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Let's look at his gun first. Okay, cool. It's another bar. I guess Cole's not going to point that out, but whatever. Alright, so you got the... Yeah, let's do the newspaper first. LAPD vice scandal could go all the way to the top. Man, all of a sudden this, this corruption shit just comes out of nowhere now. Alright. Enjoy the story. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet friend Alan to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor, District Attorney, who is this guy, and what does he want, Coral? Name's Roy Earl, Detective, Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you could be off the hook. So what do you want? What the fuck, that shit-eating evil smile, what the hell? Fingering a fellow officer. Do they, they literally all like react like that, like so evilly, like just like, because the way he was just telling him, but he was just had like this huge evil grin, like, <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, Chief William J. Worrell. That's what I'm gonna be soon. Oh wait, I just realized my partner just fucked me over. So I just figured that out. My partner is screwing me over. Couldn't I just shoot him now? I, I should probably just shoot him. Stoker tell all may cost. Jobs at City Hall. Mayor, District Attorney, declined to comment. 
Okay. Uh, so partner, uh, thanks to my uh, telepathic abilities or whatever the hell. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I figured out that you're actually a really good friend of mine, and, uh, that we should stick close together, and not turn our backs on each other, you know, so, you know, Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Too bad. Too bad this game won't let me do that. Wait, really? Okay, I can't look at his body. Alright, cool. Maybe there's something there, but I guess I don't care enough to check. Alright, good. Good detective work. Good detective work, everyone. We're done here. Oh my god, why do I keep this? You know what, you're not even getting my car. Nope. Hold on. Uh. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. You know what, no. Hold on. Partner, hold on, let's just, oh, I'm gonna switch cars, hold on. We should switch cars. I think it'd be good for us if we switch cars and stuff, because, um, you know, our, our car is just getting a little bit dated, I think, in my personal opinion. And, uh, bolt it! Run! Ah! Okay. No, fuck you, partner, get out of here! Haha, <laughs> bitch! That's right. Ha 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 ha. Fuckhead. All right, well, now that we took care of that bit of mess, now we can continue on this by ourselves and hopefully solve this issue that we have. Grauman's Chinese Theater, 4.42 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, cool. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't know the Middle East got involved. Getting close and steer him off the tar. Oh shit, you know those are bandanas. Maybe that's Watts. I can't hit a target. Whatever. It's right there, idiot. It's in front of you. Oh my god. Oh wait, what are you doing in here? Oh my god. You Let fucking shape shifting teleporter witch bitch. I'll try for the oh. Keep your foot down. God damn it. Shit. Well, you don't. He doesn't know yet. He doesn't know yet what I know. So yeah, at least there's that much. The so we got that advantage at least. We'll figure this out. Don't worry. Oh shit! Wow. Uh. <laughs> we just unloaded on him. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Your partner's dead. And so are you. Wow. <laughs> Raped. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> My partner lost his hat again. He's so stupid. What do you even see your hat? What, what do you? Why is your hat always gone when we're in the car? Isn't that the in car, car chases. Yeah, it is. Fuck off. Shut up now. You don't have the right to be talking about me. Not someone of your fucking standard. That's right. That's right. You're not gonna pick the hat up again, and I have anything to say about it. But, oh, okay, you picked the hat up. Okay, I see how it is. Well, that's fine. It's fine, you can pick the hat up. You won't have the opportunity to pick it up next time, though. Christ! Bitch. Oh, shit, we're not actually turning around. Never mind. Uh, the reason why I didn't just run him over there is because I wanted to actually try to get five stars here, so... <laughs> I don't want my stupid vehicle damage stats to... You idiot! ...to screw me over. So yeah, um, hopefully that doesn't go bad. <laughs> now... Now, let's do this thing. Oh, shit. 
my god, shut up. Wow. Okay, not shut up. I don't know why I keep saying shut up as like an instinct, but... Yeah, you shut up, fucking Roy. Oh my god, why are you turning that way? Did you see where I'm going? Ugh. Yeah, but all those cars were just crashing into me, and I was- I just say shut up, instinctively, but really I just mean like fuck off or something. Oh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of shootings in this one. I mean, I don't mind it, but like... I like it, but... Just noticing. Hopefully he shoots Roy. Shoot Roy! Shoot Roy! Shoot Roy! God damn it. Come on, shoot Roy already. They'll get him, I know they will. I believe in them. 